My name is Thorsten Overgaard. I'm a Danish photographer. I travel the world taking photographs and teaching photography. Today I'll talk about the 28mm Summicron, the matte edition, and also a little bit about Ansel Adams. Below the video, there's links to free stuff. You can pause the video and click the link now. And you can download my free ebook about some of the iconic photographs through history and the photographs behind them. And I also tell about why I photograph and how I photograph. The location I'm in here today is almost exactly where Ansel Adams took this photograph in 1941. It's a famous photograph not just because it's a great photograph, but also because back then it fetched uh, the highest ever uh, auction price for a picture. Uh, and it did it again uh, later, $700,000 for this picture. Uh, this one is one I got in Santa Fe, 40 minutes from here. Uh, I paid only $15. Uh, but I'm happy I actually got the photo. I had an idea of driving out here that it might be possible to recreate uh, some of the magic. Uh, but you can see here, uh, there's actually even, uh, we're like 40 minutes from sunset, there's a lot of light uh, behind me. There's sun, sunlight on the mountains, I'm in the shade. Um, and even there's a full moon today, exactly today, uh, I can't even find the full moon. It's supposed to be over the mountain there, and the landscape is supposed to be very dramatic. Uh, <laughs> so it'll have to be for another day. But I can tell about something else that is exciting, and uh, in some ways it's very exciting, in some ways uh, maybe not that exciting. But this is the 28mm Summicron uh, lens from Leica, and this lens is the design of the lens, the optical design, is from 2000. Uh, then Leica made an update in 2016, 2018, they're about, for digital. Basically means it could have higher resolution, which means not necessarily sharpness of the picture, but just how much resolution can you have per inch or per centimeter or per millimeter of the picture, which plays in when you imagine you go from film and you go to digital sensors and now we have, here's the M11, have 60 megapixels, uh, so the sensor can actually record the resolution, provided that the lens can deliver that resolution. And that is what the optical uh, design of this one can after it was updated uh, a few years ago. Then Leica got this great idea because they made uh, the M11 in this silver, this one have brass top underneath and then silver. Uh, and there's also a black edition that is aluminium, or a mix of metal that you would call aluminium, and then it has a black paint that's kind of like a, uh, an odd black paint, but something that you might like after you use it. And this lens, uh, when it says matte, it means this is painted the same way as the M11. So it's not the same matte as the Leica M10 monochrome, it's the same matte, the same feel as the M11. Uh, black paint and then it also have it has a few interesting details first of all uh, price wise because this special edition lens there's only made 450 in the world but because this one was priced before the price increase in the US 1st of April this one actually costs less than the ordinary edition so you get a special edition for around four or five hundred dollars less than the normal edition. So that makes it a no-brainer. Uh, if you like this one, you should get it, if you can get it. It has a few other things going for it, and that is that it has light green numbers here. It almost looks white, but it's light green. Um, it doesn't have a red dot here, it has a black dot. And then uh, one thing I really like, well, there's two things I like. One thing is that you have a built-in lens hood. You never had that on a 28 Summicron before. Uh, but you have a built-in lens hood here, you screw out. And then what I really like is that it doesn't have any uh, text on the front here. It's put here uh, and the serial number sits on the lens here, which is great because if you hit a wall or something with this and you need to change it, then it's actually a spare part. Uh, some other lenses, if you have to change the front, then the serial number is engraved here, so you have to 
to have a new serial number engraved. But here it actually sits underneath here, so that is uh, pretty smart. But I really like this front of it, it looks really beautiful. Uh, and I hope that something like it will do uh, with other lenses. Um, optically, 28mm traditionally for Leica have always been great lenses. It's almost, it seems like it's easy to make them. Maybe, maybe not, but they're always great lenses. So you have the 28mm 1.7 on the Leica Q is a great lens. The 28mm lenses on uh, the R system, R system is and was great lenses and then you have on the M system you have uh, this one was designed around year 2000 and then there's also the 28mm 2.8 which is even more compact and then in 2014 came the 28mm uh, 1.4 that's the one I used a lot uh, and it's of course you have really narrow uh, depth of field. All the 28mm lenses are really great and I spoke with lens designer Peter Karp about them uh, a couple of years ago and he said they all have the same performance. The only difference between the three 28mm, uh, the 2.8, 2.0, 1.4 is the f-stop. So that means the depth or focus. Uh, so it's a pretty solid lens to get and you can say it's pretty compact and you get a lot of inventory for the money and you can crop it later, especially if you shoot on a 60, 60 megapixel camera like this one. Um, and I think that's almost what there is to say about this lens. It also has a, a thing here you can use for focusing. Um, but basically the, the simplicity of this one, that is just something that Leica apparently decided, let's just make 450 of those just for the fun of it, uh, and have a little bit of fun and see who can get to the Leica store first and get one. Uh, and here's one of them. They do exist, 450 of them. That's all I had to say today. Thank you for watching and till I see you next time, remember to always wear a camera.